We've got the all new Toyota Camry. Is it all new? Oh, easy trip. Oh, here we are in sport. Wow. Good torque, good acceleration. There you go. All right, so there are some things that are all new, like what's under the hood of this thing, Andrea? A 2.5 liter four cylinder. It has Toyota's fifth generation hybrid system. It's matched to an eCVT. Front wheel drive models get a combined 225 horsepower and all wheel drive models 232 horsepower. You can put regular fuel in the Camry. So it is new. The engine is a two and a half liter mashed to the same hybrid system they use in Prius. In Prius it's two liters, this it's two and a half liters, and you notice the difference for yeah. sure. We're going to get into more of what's been updated and what's been carried forward in a moment. Right now, the key standard features. The base trim comes with a seven inch driver display, an eight inch touchscreen, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a wireless charger, black Softex upholstery, heated front seats, eight-way power driver seat with lumbar support, six-way manual passenger seat, a heated steering wheel, and Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. In the U.S., all these features are not standard like heated front seats, soft tech seats, a power driver seat, and a heated steering wheel, but they are available. Eco Normal Sport, what else can we put it in? Got to put it in S for subscribe and if you can hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when all of our reviews drop and then you can watch them. And we do this, the Cup of Car Review, twice a week. The first one drops on Wednesday. We put another one out on Saturday. So make sure to like and subscribe, but also follow along on Instagram. It's Motormouth underscore Andrea to see what's up behind the scenes. For me, it's Motormouth underscore Auto and the links are below the like button. So I kind of joke about it being all new, or is it really all new? The real story is that this is heavily updated. So we've got the new hybrid system we talked about, uh, the front suspension, rear suspension's been updated. The actual body pan, the chassis is carried forward along with the doors and the roof, but it is substantially updated. Yeah, it's got a re-engineered suspension, the braking system has been improved, and it's also been tuned at low speeds to reduce the engine RPMs and provide extra power from the electric motor for that instant torque and acceleration. Well, like I, that's good. We were on a twisty road. Mm -hmm. This handles really well. So you want to slow down there. There's the border patrol. We're right border by patrol. the Mexican border. We don't want to get in trouble we, we got, here, but I'm having, I'm actually having fun in this XSE model, which by the way, SE and XSE get a sport tuned suspension. We did get pulled over yesterday. We, we were did. Like, what are you guys doing? We're here with Toyota on us. <laughs> uh, so anyway, this is uh, a much, much better Camry. Yeah. A Camry has been very successful. It is the best selling midsize sedan in North America. Uh, outsells everybody else. And the fact they've gone just to hybrid, they've ditched the gas, they've gone from the 2.5 gas, they've ditched the V6. You honestly won't miss it when you're driving this. And Toyota Canada says they expect to sell 60% of these hybrids as all-wheel drive models. Yeah, and when you get into the pricing, which is later on in the video, you're going to see there's actually a lot of value in a midsize sedan versus getting a compact SUV, for example. And some people are going to look at the numbers and think to themselves, wait a second, I can get this incredible powertrain that's vastly improved over the last model, really good space and a bunch more and good handling, and it's less than a RAV4, that's gonna be a good selling feature for many people. For sure, and this steering feels so good in here. We've got it in sport mode, so it's a little bit heavier, but if you put it in eco and normal, it lightens up, but I actually like that sporty feel that this XSE model is offering. Well, the other day, while we're on this mega Toyota-a-thon, mm. uh, we drove the new Crown Signia, and we're blown away by how good it is. And it is based on the same platform, tuned slightly differently, but it has a common family resemblance. And the other thing Toyota really focused on was noise, vibration, and harshness. And the cabin is fairly quiet, but the XLE models and XSE models get acoustic front and side glass. So about 60% uh, all-wheel drive probably in Canada is a little bit more money, but for a lot of people that just love the idea of having all-wheel drive, it's not mechanically connected to the front engine and electric motor at the front. It's a separate electric motor that runs the rear wheels at the back. It's more like all-wheel drive assist than a typical all-wheel drive system, but a lot of people will just opt for that because we love all-wheel drive in Canada. We do. And it has the same rear electric motor as what we see in the Prius today. So as we mentioned, what's carried over are the doors and the roof. The front 
what they call clip the, from the A pillar forward and from the C pillar back is all new, even the panels. And yeah, this is the sporty one we're driving right now. They have the more prestigious one, the XLE, which I think looks really good as well. The XLE before Andrea was a little bit frumpy dumpy. I thought a little, a little bit old mannish, yeah. but now it too looks sporty. Yeah, it has a really modern, clean, fresh look to it. Definitely Toyota is up the sportiness of this Camry for sure. It has 5.4 inches of ground clearance. Comes standard with LED headlights, LED taillights, 16 inch wheels, available 18 and 19 inch wheels, and a temporary spare tire. How nice is that? Now the SE and XSE models certainly up the sportiness with a sleeker look. It has a, more of a chiseled body style to it. So one way they make them look sportier is the front overhang in front of the wheels is now a little bit longer and the rear overhang and that gives them room to add things like spoilers and things and that's how they get the added sportiness. The wheelbase however is carried forward as we said, same platform as the last one. Now some extra features on the sport grades to the exterior, they have functional aerodynamic air ducts, a rear diffuser spoiler, black Camry badging, and dual exhaust tips. The SXE model ups the sportiness even more with a unique color match front grille, a black trunk garnish, and an available two-tone color option. So this XSE, the sporty one, gets the 19 inch wheels and really nice looking smoky gray, not pure black. Uh, you know, I don't love that, but the smoky gray certainly looks sporty. Now onto the inside and Andrea, depending on the trim you get, you get a totally different look on the inside. That XLE is the one that gets the diamond, it's not Alcantara, but it's the microfiber kind of look on the inside. And when you see it in person, it has a real wow factor. They've made this interior look much more modern. It's sophisticated and elegant looking. I never really loved the interior of the previous model Camry with the way the center console was set up. I feel like this is a little bit more driver focused. You've got a traditional shifter at the center console and it's just right at your fingertips. The storage is great in here. Come standard, as we mentioned, with an 8-inch touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but there is an available 12.3-inch touchscreen and a 12.3-inch digital driver display. Well, one thing we should mention is the base LE model is not sold in Canada. We started SE. That LE is now gone. It is available still in the United States, and for Canada, we get a higher contented car. They just know that's what typically sells, so they've only decided to bring those ones in, and really nicely equipped, even on the base model. Yeah, this comes standard in the U.S. because you have that stripped down model with fabric seats. But the SE model gets soft tech upholstery and then there's also leather upholstery and then like Zach mentioned on that XLE model, the microfiber, which is a nice look as well. Now, we both think that there's a lot of value with the base model. We went over all those key standard features. It's packed with some good stuff. All of those creature comforts that you would want in a vehicle. Yeah, the bare necessities, heated seats, heated steering wheel, even a power driver's seat on the base model. You can see that Toyota is adding more features to a sedan to protect their lead in the sedan space because everybody's piling into SUVs. And so they are number one. They want to stay number one. They want to add the features that get people into the showroom for sedan. Even the XSE model gets paddle shifters and aluminum sport pedals. You know, they're trying to definitely make it a little bit more sporty looking for a mid-size sedan. Now, there are some other available features. They include a 10-inch head-up display, a panoramic view monitor, a nine-speaker JBL sound system, eight-way power passenger seat, ventilated front seats, driver seat memory, a moonroof, and a first for Camry, a panoramic sunroof with shade. So we talked about it already. People just pile into SUVs because they think they get more space. You certainly don't get a relaxing rear seat like you do in a sedan. The legroom no. is good. Uh, when you sit back upright, the headroom isn't great, but if you slouch a little, like a lot of people do when they're driving in the back seat, the headroom is actually pretty good. There's an armrest there. How does it stack up? Comparing the Camry to the Honda Accord, the Camry gets 42.1 inches of front row legroom, which is about the same as the Accord. Second row legroom at 38 inches falls short to the Honda by 2.8 inches. Trunk space for the Camry is 15.1 cubic feet, which is a little less than the Accord. So what's quite incredible is they've added more power 
in this latest fifth generation hybrid system than the outgoing model. But fuel economy is incredible. So we'll do that in our vital stats. Let's start with pricing. We're using MSRP. We'll start with Canada first. The SE front wheel drive model starts at just over $34,000 and the top XLE all-wheel drive is just under $45,000. In the U.S., the first front-wheel drive model starts at just under $28,500. All-wheel drive, just under $30,000. And the top XSE all-wheel drive model is just over $36,000. Here's the front wheel drive fuel economy with 18 inch wheels, 4.9 liters per 100 kilometer city, five on the highway. That's an incredible 48 miles per gallon in the city, 47 miles per gallon highway. All wheel drive with 18 inch wheels is 5.1 liters per 100 kilometer city, 5.1 on the highway. That's 46 miles per gallon city, 46 miles per gallon highway. The warranty is three years, 60,000 kilometers or 36,000 miles. Two years of complimentary scheduled maintenance is included in the United States. <laughs> well, the way it works, Andrea, is there's Camry and there's kind of everything else in terms of sales. So what else can you pick? For your consideration, four vehicles for you to consider. Up first is the Honda Accord Hybrid with a two liter four cylinder, a combined 204 horsepower and a starting price just under $43,500. The Hyundai Sonata with a two and a half liter four cylinder, 191 horsepower and a starting price just over $35,000. The Nissan Altima with a 2.5 liter four cylinder, 182 horsepower and a starting price of $31,500. The Chevrolet Malibu with a 1.5 liter turbo four cylinder 163 horsepower on a starting price of just thirty one and a half thousand dollars so there are four mid-sized sedans for you to consider lightning round two things we like two things we like to see improved i really like the value that this camry offers the power delivery now is much improved what i'd like to see is a little bit less shiny black plastic and you know what a cheap and cheerful le base model in canada would probably go down pretty well mm -hmm. All right, so that is the updated or all new Toyota Camry. Let us know what you think of this latest version. It's hitting dealerships this spring. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, subscribe. We'll see you next time.